Hi guys, I'm Wayne Natman, the Australasian Regional Director, and I'm out here in remote WA in a place called Kananara. Now, I've got a very important story to share with you about God TV's impact on this region of the world. Not only are lives being affected and transformed, but they're doing so in some really remote locations. Now, first up, I'd like to introduce you to the local pastor here. His name's Pastor Bruce. He's got a great story to share with you. We're Bruce and Terry Connell. We're the senior pastors of the King's Church in Kununurra, which is in the, uh, right on the eastern side of the Kimberley. You know, 22 years ago, we were on the east coast and we just prayed and we said, God, where would you like us? And we, this Kimberley area lit up for us. And these people, they, they love to hear about Jesus and what he's doing for them. Over the last couple of years, we're really excited about what, uh, what's happening with the availability of God TV. They just get transformed. They come alive, they're new people. And they're relying on God TV with so many different teachings and great teachers who are on those programs. And signs follow the preaching of the word. It's wonderful. Yeah, God's good. You know, such an inspiration to hear from the local pastors here, Bruce and Terry, and some of the impact that God TV is having in this region. Let's go out there and see exactly how God TV is transforming lives. People are getting baptized, and the silver side rate has absolutely drastically reduced. Did you know that the highest suicide rate in the world, unfortunately, is in the Kimberleys amongst Indigenous people? It's so shocking. It's, it's, it's hard to believe, but it's a reality. But I'll tell you something, mate, at the Mullen community that had suicide there, since they moved God TV into that community, the suicide incidents have not happened. You know? So God's made a move in that place, you know? And, and at one stage there, our, our church leaders went down there and they had, they thought they were gonna have one or two baptisms. They had 32 baptisms one day. Such a blessing, you know? And the people are hungry for, 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 for the good news, you know? And how are we going to share it? You know? We can share it one on one, but with TV in their own bedroom or their own lounge with their own people, it's the greatest, the greatest asset to share Jesus. Well, here we are at the airport in Kununurra, about to make our way to Mullen. Now, after hearing all these exciting stories of lives transformed, I'm so excited to get there. Come on guys, let's go on an adventure together. Well, we've just landed here in Mullen and this is the dirt road that goes into town. I'm so excited to see and hear of all the stories and testimonies of lives transformed by God TV. Let's go find out and meet some of the people. How well, some young fellas have hung themselves here. And we lost one of my cousins about three years back from suicide. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's really hard on all of us, especially the ones who grew up with it. So Bradley, God TV has been here for two years. What do you see has happened with God TV here? What changed the community? Well, all of our experience in all these remote communities are showing us one thing that Indigenous people, generally speaking, miss out on sound Bible teaching. Uh, and this is really where I think provisions such as what's being put in here will really help these people uh, and be able to get someone to speak to them about what the Bible is saying. Well, I'm very excited to introduce you to Bessie. Bessie, it's in your house that God TV is being hosted, is that right? Yeah. You like watching yeah. all of it? All of it. All of it? Yeah, I like <laughs> Well, hi guys, I'm with the man, Brian, who actually installed the equipment into Mullen. Yes. How long ago was that? Over two years ago, and uh, we've heard so many stories come out of Mullen because of that media and uh, God TV working. It's just turned the community around. They're united, they're socialising together, and uh, just so happy to see something in, in their community. Hi, what's your name? My name is Veronica Lulu. Veronica Lulu, well lovely From to Marlon. meet you. From Marlon. beautiful. Yeah. Now, have you been in Bessie's house and watched God TV? Yes. Ah, uh, wonderful. And, and what, I... what do you think of it? Do you like God TV? 
I like it very much. I understand that there's been some breakthroughs in your life um, since beginning to watch God TV and having people minister to you here. Is it right you've given up the ganja? Yeah. Okay, how does that make you feel? Yeah, much better. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. It's a big miracle, big breakthrough. So I'm so excited for you. Let me just quickly pray for you. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you for Jarvis. I thank you that he's already had victories and breakthroughs in his life. I declare that the spirit of addiction on alcohol and cigarettes be broken off him entirely in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come and fill him. Fill him with your goodness, with your peace, with your joy, with your love, with your understanding and with your willpower and desires for his life. So here we are in the living room of Bessie and Bill's house and it's a great honour to be able to watch God TV with all you guys and I believe you have a message for the viewers at God TV. Ready? One, two, three. God, God, God. God.